I guess we'll just kind of take a bit of a stroll there. Come, Tara. Tara. Mm. He'll catch. He'll catch up. Do 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 do. Tumbleweeds. At least I think they are. Is what they look like. Yeah. The only bath Tara will ever get. Good boy. So I like how the Deathclaw Corpse. <laughs> I like how the Deathclaw Corpse stays there for an eternity, and yet the Raiders are all fucking gone. Let's do a quick map check just to make sure I know I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, where am I? Mm, maybe we'll take a little bit of a shortcut. That's quite a waste of. I don't want to go to Starlight Drive in. That will keep for a different episode. I I want to get to Diamond City where all the cool stuff is. Sorry, not sorry. Moving on. The episode's gonna be long enough as it is. God, I hope I don't have to break it up again. I mean, it wasn't so bad last time. It's just I don't know. Really? Yeah, really. We're gonna go this way. Ah, so how are you guys doing? I'm doing rather fantastically, since it's technically the end of the week for myself. Based, a lot of times Thursdays are my Fridays, since I don't tend to work on Fridays with the job that I have is nice what the yeah that's 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 a car let's listen to military frequency just to hear it automated that, that... message repeating i'm almost out of this this is scribe hail and reconnaissance squad gladius to any unit in transmission range authorization arcs ferrum nine five our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Where'd you find me? Where'd you find me? Show mama. Here we go. Good job! Oh, good boy! Good job, Tara! Mm, good boy! Okay, I get it. It's just repeating. We will check that check that out at a later time. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. We have a mission. We're going in that direction. That's the problem with games like this is that you get so easily distracted. No, I'm not going. No, leave it. Tara, come. We will make it to Diamond City. No, 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 no! Fuck! You know what, we're just gonna stay off the, uh, the beaten path. Quick save again. Hi, sweet pea. Nope, nope. Sometimes the, sometimes the bombs aren't there a second time around. I don't know why, but they aren't. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh no, wait, it's down here. There you are. Can I collect it? I would really like it. Wait, why can't I target it now? There you are. I want you. I don't think this is gonna work, but shh, Tara, shh the fuck up. Your claws are clicking. 
Oh, stop! Fuck! What the fuck is wrong with you, Tara? Stop! Mmm. Terracotta. I swear to God. Tara. Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Win. Fuck you. Ah, uh, that was good. Okay, so you can disarm and just take someone else's mine. So yeah, to whoever set that mine, fuck you. Fuck you and your shitty mind setting skills. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. You can't fool me twice. Ha! Bitch. Okay, calm down before something else blows your ass up. <clears throat> Let's see what this is. Oh man, my glass is empty again. Uh. Okay, so we're entering the city where everything happens. This is not Diamond City, no, don't worry. We Diamond City is a lot smaller. <laughs> but we're in the city of... And I'm sure those in Massachusetts are like, Good God, seriously, dude? And I'm like, yeah, I've never been to Massachusetts, like, ever. I don't know what this stuff is. Oh, it's okay. Okay, I can't go on without more drink. Hang on. I need more bubbles. All right. I'm back. Taking a sip. If I drink, you drink. Them's the rules. If you're wondering why I'm sneaking again, and you really shouldn't be, but... Because anything and everything is as to get me here. I don't think I've encountered super mutants yet. No, I definitely haven't encountered super mutants yet for you guys. We will, most likely, before we can get to Diamond City. Um, they're brutal. The raiders are brutal. My dog is brutal, but thankfully he's on my side. <gasps> no. Okay, there's a ladder. We're okay. Wreck of the USS Riptide. Hey, Tara? What, what you doing? Can I, can, what, where, what? Okay, clip. Nothing there now, what do you think? Shh. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut that on the Real, mm, real low do, mm, ah! of pain and I'm still on fire fuck uh, this was a bad idea you're okay my little guy let's just get the fuck out let's go let's go let's go I'm not ready for this I'll be back Tara shit I think you guys ass handed to him no He'll be okay. He'll he'll rejoin us. Thankfully, your companions can't die. Hmm? Mm. Tara. That's a pile of garbage. That is not my dog. I don't know why I thought that was my dog. I haven't had that much to drink. Holy shit. Tara. Come on. Pick yourself up, rub some dirt on it, and let's go. I'm closing in on Diamond City, I hope. Yeah, there's zeros. Give my 
also the skin. What the fuck was that? So super mutants, they're like orcs, effectively. Really? I got your backs, bro. Ow. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have the balls that you lack. Uh, I just might not have the brains. How the fuck do I get in? Ah, shotgun time. No, no, shotgun. Already? Well, I I got one. I I kind of helped. Right? I'm good. Sh shut up. Oh, I missed you. Take a Molotov. For those of you who wonder why I don't just take everything, I don't feel like being bogged down in everything. I, I don't know. It. Yeah, I know that I can use it for caps, but I can... Where'd you find me? I see... Where'd you find me, Tara? Where'd you find Mama? What? What? You found me an extra-dimensional portal! Tara, you're a genius! Excellent work! Where'd, where'd you go? We can use this power for good! Alright, well, that was, that was fine. Well, I, mean, I mean, I'll take your hairbrush. Maybe I did that when I took my stim pack without realizing it. <coughs> Tara, it's okay. I don't need it right now. Come on. Come on. We're almost at Diamond City. This is excellent. We're doing great. Actually, we're probably doing very poorly, as I'm sure some of you may say, but I'm feeling pretty good. I got here in record time. Thank you. I like the little diamond this way. Diamond City. I like how they automatically assume that I'm friendly and don't mean to cause any trouble. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> here you are, Tara. Come on. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Uh, I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <laughs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Piss me off and I'll write a bogus story about you. Mm. I know you're listening, Danny. <laughs> open the gate. Or I'll tell everyone you got a tiny penis. <laughs> you. What's up? You want into Diamond City, right? What's up? What? Who are you? Shh, shh. <laughs> Play along. I do kind of like this character, I'm not well, gonna lie. What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? Isn't everyone dead in <laughs> Quincy? You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in? Or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? <laughs> Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Good thinking. <laughs> She's like me. She can't sit still for two seconds. She's got a fidget. Diamond City? Let's just ask all the questions. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? 
She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, <laughs> some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Hmm. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped She did it again. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. <clears throat> Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. I love how she just drags me right the fuck into this. However, I am... I and Wyatt uh, are both one for freedom of speech, so, uh. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this <laughs> argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Even though you Welcome clearly said something that should upset me. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Mm. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? You just need to muck sh or rake shit. You're kind of mucky on your own, Mr. Slimy. I don't fucking know. You two arguing? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? <laughs> print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Anything I can grind this particular conversation to a halt with? Hmm? Missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby. Let's just be honest. My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son <laughs> all on her own? No, don't listen to hey, her. stop well, using me I'm for your ends, media lady. Every case that comes through, I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Who can help me? A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, what? I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. It did it is. Oh, fuck no, I'm not taking that one lying down. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... I am not taking this one lying down. I will go back. I have an idea for an <laughs> you will bend to my will, McDonough. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Well... Yes! Uh, ha! I win. One private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down. Hmm, hey, Tira. Usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. <laughs> Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. But when you have the Let magic, quick-load god that. hands, I guess anything's possible. I next story. Oh. I like winning. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Mm. Head on inside. I will. Hey. Hey. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Sometimes tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. 
If it so, were up to know. me, we would have just let the both you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, real scared of a doughy old man like McDonough. Mm. Don't want to piss off that guy with his pencil-thin mustache and his hat. Mm. I just realized we have elevator music. Oh, that didn't last long. Come on! Oh, wow. I didn't mean to do this part, but that's cool. Uh, Piper's talking to her sister down there. We're not missing out on much. That's just her little sister that she's talking to. got to we would have gotten to see a little bit about her talk with her sister they they get along very well let's just put it that way good sit look at you good job tara come on good boy i personally don't really give a squirt about her sister uh, she's kind of a brat but anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, you're tall. Uh, well, I'm a lot older than you. Hey there, lady. Hey there, lady. Johnny, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Well, hello there. For a haircut, the Another one of the poor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me, bitch. Say that again. Hi, Mrs. Codman. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps. Excuse me. Ha. <laughs> wow. Huh. There are no words. I don't care for your tone. Why don't you run along before I make a complaint with security? Yeah. It's. It's... To... Bitch. What did you say? <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm done talking to you. Oh my god. I... 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 Wow, Wyatt. Are we gonna go in a different direction in life? Because... I had a thing to do, but you know what? We're gonna put that on hold. As soon as I can crouch... This bitch is going to- Can you believe that? Do you believe that? What she just said to- You're dead. You're dead. Clearly we don't need you. You're gone. Mm-mm. And anyway, the poor and stupid asking me for Herbie Derby there? No, no one can see me. This- This is what I like. Shit. Well, that didn't work out. You know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than open. Hmm. Oh. Go home. <laughs> I'll show you who's boss. Mm hmm. Don't think I can pick this. Fuck! Just realized. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, it's cute observations. Uh, they just fresh Die! 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 Yes! Ha 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 ha
just not worth the trouble. I will get her eventually, though. No one like that deserves a continued existence. Always want what they haven't earned. Oh, astute observation, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you, Brigitte. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do I so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. Speaking to me. I, I, I. There, there are no words. There, there are no words. There a problem? There a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the colonial tap house. Even those that obviously don't belong. <coughs> Just know that my sensors indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Everyone. Everyone in the stands is marked. They're all going to die in the future. Mark my words. You know what? Not interested. Glad to see you know your place. <sighs> Can you believe this asshole? Ah! Die! <laughs> Give me the satisfaction, you piece of shit. <laughs> Editing this is gonna be fun. All of you, goodbye, gone. Just, I, I can't believe that. It's late. Let's, let's get a room. Just. Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district. Let's get a room. The combat zone. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want history. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the refill shots. With him, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yeti. I am in middle of story. Crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. <laughs> when out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A Meyer Lurk! A Meyer Lurk! Come on! That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. You want to talk something really good. Jim! I forgot you were there yet, <laughs> What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Hmm. <laughs> See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Mm -hmm. Not who I wanted. Hey, bro. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Yes, friend. Deal. You're in room two. Deal. Just through the door. Thanks, bro. I like how it's right fucking there. Add that actually it makes me really happy in this game. Hey, this time looks a little familiar. Let's just do a good solid nine hours. I like my sleep, and so does Wyatt. Hey, my luck. Oh, I missed that. Maybe living here's not worth it. Have a nice day. Thanks, bro. Drinks! Uh, I, I, you know what? I do love, I love his enthusiasm. I actually, I like most of the characters in this game. I think they're, a lot of them are very interesting. So far, the, the least interesting character so far has been Preston. Only, and I am saying only that because spray, something about his voice actor. Don't move, so, What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for fuck? God's sakes, oh. we're family! Put the gun down, now! 
He's a Sith! He'll kill us all! Kyle, Jeez. no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. So yeah, synths, uh, that's something we haven't really talked about yet. <laughs> Officer? Move along. And you're not gonna talk to me. That's fine. Excuse me. You pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Mm hmm Hmm... Tragedy. What's everyone still Quite standing around a tragedy. For? Go back yes. to your own damn business. Such tragedy. Officer. I need you to step away, Scabber. Yeah. What happened? I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced mm. by machines. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. Let's see if we can't get a copy of the newspaper. We'll read that. We will um, head to one more section of this, and I think we're going to end the episode. So, uh, Piper Sister's not here, but... The synthetic truth is okay. We have a thing here. Oh my god, it's in handwriting. That's okay. I can make this happen. <clears throat> the synthetic truth by Piper Wright. I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to fucking talk like Piper. I'm just gonna do what I can. Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years. From the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's programmed Japanese to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl to the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful, the ordering and eating of noodles is one, but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter at Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just after 5 o'clock p.m. enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own Mayor McDonough saddle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing. Yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in... 2,229 as they sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles but ice-cold nuke colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening. Although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti-ghoul decree of 2282. But there is one person among us who does remember, distinctly, the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrence's exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right over at the bar, sure as you're sitting in front of me now, 22 years old or so and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were. So what was the harm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere. It didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful. 
until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening, and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We've been drinking and carrying on. Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face all in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching kind of funny. And I remember watching him clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam! He shot Henry the bombman right in the head! Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casual as if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, is a famous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had suc actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans. Since. After he shot Henry, then Mr. Kata shot three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The gods came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Kata, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those gods, they put him down. Seemed like he had killed a man who had flipped his lid. Gone crazy. And he lay there like a dead, crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic in the metal. This was one of them early sins, you see. And we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was one of... It was then we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek, and was never meant to kill anyone. But at that time, the why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery. Using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has seen in service today. Oh, is that it? I might have accidentally mispressed. Which brings us to noodles. Specifically, the noodles consumed by Maya McDonough last Wednesday night, in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours in sharing an experience, the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race. They were wrong. Are we? Oh, that was a mouthful and a half. But that does give a, a basic insight about synths. They are artificial human beings, and the possibility of their presence has built severe paranoia, paranoia throughout the people of Diamond City. Just the Commonwealth in general, but still. Hey, bruh. And now we're gonna head to... Detective. You guys might recall Mama Murphy discussing something called a glowing heart. Valentine Detective Agency. Hmm. Relevance? I think so, and not just because of the giant glowing quest marker and my little mini map. His ties. From the neck. The pills. Huh. Forget the pills. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage are too late. Office is closed. Mm. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. 
It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... It's all good. The detective. He's gone missing. Oh. Uh, let's be cool about this. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. If this were anybody else, if this was a a do a job, I would ask for money, but I'm actually gonna just be a cool guy about this one. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Especially the way she's talking, it just feels like something Wyatt would just offer to help with. Especially if the detective will, you know, throw us a bone afterward, maybe kind of give us some help for free. I kind of appreciate that. Um, in the meantime, though, I think this is a good stopping point. We have a clear objective that we can pursue in the next episode. Um, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. If you enjoy the episode, please feel free to subscribe. Please like, and give me a comment below on what you think. I appreciate constructive criticism. I'm always looking to improve my videos for you guys. I want to make things as fun and entertaining as possible. So, yeah, please have a fantastic weekend, and thank you guys again so much for watching. Bye!